What is going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna go over how you can record Overwatch content and or live stream. The first thing I'll be doing is be going over how to do all this on PC, then I'll move on to how to do so on PS4 and Xbox. If you don't wanna watch the entire video, I'll put timestamps in the description so that you can quickly move around to different sections. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, so if you want to record and or live stream on PC, then a popular program in the past that people used was called Fraps. Now, don't use this program at all. Almost every YouTuber and live streamer has moved to a new program called Open Broadcast Software. It's not only free, but it's superior pretty much in every way to Fraps. So all you need to do is search Open Broadcaster Software in Google, click on basically the first link. Now there's going to be two options here. You can either get OBS Classic, you don't want to do that, or you can get OBS Studio. This is what you want to download right here. So once you've downloaded that program and installed it, the first screen that you'll be brought up to is something like this. You're gonna have all these scenes empty and these sources empty. These are actually my current scenes that I use for recording. So the first thing you need to do before you touch any part of the scenes or sources is just to go to settings and then output. Now, if you have a newer GPU, then you can run off the NVIC encoder. Or if you have kind of an older GPU, not really meant for this setting, then just choose the X264. This is more CPU intensive. This is basically using your GPU. As for the bitrate, I usually stick around 5,000. I don't notice too much of a difference between 5,000 and 10,000. If you are gonna stream, just set this at 3,500. That is the limit for what Twitch will accept. And if you're having problem with lag once you do start streaming, you'll probably wanna change this setting quite a bit until you find the right setting for you. The final thing I wanna mention is just make sure you set your recording path. So after you're finished with the output section, just go to audio and make sure you set up your desktop audio and mic audio. If you have multiple mics, you can set that up as well. I just set mine to default and then my speakers. So basically it's gonna get the gameplay audio and this is gonna get, of course, my microphone. Once you're done with that, just press OK, and then the first thing we're gonna do is create a new scene. Now remember, yours is probably gonna be blank if you just installed this, but I'm gonna name this YouTube scene. And then the first source I'm gonna put there is a display capture source. And you can see that I can choose from my left monitor or my right monitor. If you only have one monitor, of course, only one display is gonna show, so choose the right one. And you'll notice that since we did add in the settings from the audio section, since we did add desktop audio on mic, it's showing up here, so you can change the level if you want to. And if your preview isn't currently viewable, just enable preview. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna look really confusing. Once you have all these settings set up, then all you have to do is say start recording. Mine says stop because I am currently recording right now. So once you are recording, you can also press stop and that's gonna go into this folder. So make sure you have that set like I said before. So that's how you record. Now, if you wanna stream, all you have to do is go to settings, stream, set up your stream key for Twitch. All these will have different stream keys that you need to input. You get that from the twitch.com website or from YouTube gaming. It's pretty easy to set up, just Google it. Once you have that set up, all you have to do is go to then start streaming and you'll be streaming. Now, the last tip I wanna give you is if you have a lot of feedback and a lot of noise in the background, it's pretty easy to actually filter that out. If you go to your audio filters and say noise suppression, noise gate is gonna cut it off pretty harshly. But if you do noise suppression and then set this to whatever sounds the best, you just need to trial it. Uh, this is gonna make your videos sound so much better. Now that is it for the PC settings. Let's move on to how to record and or live stream with PlayStation or Xbox. Now, if you have a PlayStation or Xbox, unfortunately to record gameplay, you're gonna have to put some money down. What most YouTubers currently use is the Elgato Game Capture HD 60. It's gonna cost you about $180 brand new, which is really expensive. There's also the previous version, the Elgato Game Capture HD, which you can find on eBay for around 70 bucks if you're on a budget. Now, one of the big benefits to the Elgato Game Capture HD is the software that comes with it. It's pretty simple. You just connect a capture device up here, set up a live stream account here. You can also always be recording in the background, so you don't have to always be pressing this record button. If you have this awesome clip or you wanna start at a certain point, you can just go back a little bit, then press record, and it'll go back in time because it's always in the background recording. But yeah, definitely check it out if you are on Xbox or PlayStation. And that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I post tons of guides, tons of Overwatch news daily, so check that out if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you tomorrow.